instead of trying to modify that one even further as it's had a couple of modifications already although you can put them all on one I've already got this jig built up for doing the smaller cog as you'll see in the video in, in front so same procedure as building that to build this so I'll get on with it needless to say I'll do the uh, plans for that as well bit of break out in this one I actually dropped it on the floor and then studying it into like a wazzock. Right, next thing, I'm going to build the cog to go with that. Already cut me uh, my bank for it, so I'll get on with sticking that on here so I can drill the things out. That's me, my um, other cogs done, or should be done, for in there. And I'll stick the dowels in now we can, uh, just to show you the cogs. The, re the noise you can hear, a lot of it is actually the jumping of the cogs. I'll just knock that up just to show you. But very little effort required to make it um, go. Very, very little effort. As you would expect. Three to one ratio. So that goes round once, that goes round three. And of course that will bolt on through there like so. So we're actually dropping it down below on the post, this. Um, although I am looking at building a cog to go on the inside to just to try it. To see what that's like but three to one is what i've come out at which is pretty good um it's roughly where i was aiming a five to one is what i liked you can actually grease this up when you've done just to make it a bit quieter and a bit smoother although that will cause drag but as you can see it'll easily cope with that these things do fire under very low wind Just in case you're all wondering how I made these teeth taper, I don't know if you can actually see that. But the teeth very slightly taper. Uh, that's so that they nest properly, obviously. The tool I use is this. Um, it's just something I've made again. Basically it is a piece of dowling. I drilled a tapered hole in it, glued sandpaper inside in like a cone drilled a 10mm hole through it to take my barrel nut you can get these off the internet and a piece of bar with a locking nut basically put that on, on end of your drill I don't know if you can actually see that and down you go and that will put a cone chamfer on so it meshes properly hope that's clear